Thank you for joining me today. This is Leroy Meadows, and in this session, we're going to do exercise 6-26 at the end of your chapter. That is exercise 6-26. So let's go ahead and get started. Sapphire Incorporated bottles and distributes mineral water from the company of Natural Springs in Northern Oregon. Sapphire markets two products, 12-ounce disposable plastic bottles and one-gallon reusable plastic containers. So the first thing we have to do here is for 2018, Sapphire marketing managers pr project monthly sales of 500,000 12 ounce bottles and 130,000 one gallon containers. Average selling price are estimated at 30 cents per 12 ounce bottle and $1.60 per one gallon container. Prepare a revenues budget for Sapphire Incorporated for the year ending December 31st, 2018. So when we calculate revenues, we're basically calculating uh, a selling price per unit times the number of units sold. So what are we, how are we going to calculate our units? Well, we're told uh, information on monthly sales, but we're asked to prepare a revenue budget for the year. So how many units am I going to sell uh, in the year of December 31st, 2018? And let's take a look at the 12 ounce units first. Well, if I sell 500,000, and I multiply that, and that's per month, times 12 months, I'm going to get 6 million units sold. And my average selling price of 30 cents each will give me, what, my revenues from selling the 12-ounce unit bottles, 1,800,000. So now let's take a look at the one-gallon units. I expect to sell how many? Let's see. 130,000 one gallon containers per month. So when I multiply 130,000 times 12 to get a yearly number, I'm going to sell 1,560,000 units. So 1,560,000 units. And if each one of those units sells for $1.60, then my total amount of revenue from that product line, the one gallon units, is going to be 2,496,000. And then, if I add those up together, I'm going to get my total revenues for the year from those two product lines of $4,296,000. So now, let's take a look at requirement two. Sapphire begins 2018 with 980,000 12-ounce bottles in inventory. The Vice President of Operations requests that 12-ounce bottles ending inventory on December 31st be no less than 600,000 bottles. Based on sales projections as budgeted previously, what is the minimum number of 12 ounce bottles Sapphire must produce during 2018? So when I'm looking at my sales here, I'm taking my budgeted unit sales. I expect to sell how many of those 12 ounce bottles? Six million. Add in my target finish, ending finished goods inventory of 660,000. And so how many bottles do I need altogether 6,660,000. So that's a total number of bottles between the number of units I need to sell and my desired ending inventory. 6,660,000. Now out of that, now out of those total bottles I need, I already have right here 980,000 units in ending inventory. So how many bottles do I need to produce? I need to produce 5,680,000 bottles. So that is the number of bottles that I need to produce during 2018. Now let's look at requirement three. The Vice President of Operations requests that ending inventory of one gallon containers on December 31st, 2018 be 300,000 units. If the production budgeted calls for Sapphire to produce 1,200,000 one gallon containers during 2018, what is the beginning inventory of one gallon containers on January 1st, 2018? And we can do the same format here take our budget unit sales plus the uh, ending finished goods inventory gives us our total requirements. Subtract out our beginning finished goods inventory and then we can, and then units to produce is the total requirements minus beginning finished goods inventory. However, we're not asked for how many units to produce here. We're asked for our beginning finished goods inventory. So I can solve this one of two ways. First of all, I'm going to go back to my table here. I'm going to go ahead and plug in the numbers that I know um, because of, they're available in the problem here. So my budget unit sales are how much of the one gallon bottles? 
Well, we figured that out here in part one of the one gallon units, 1,560,000. So let's go ahead and plug that in there. And how many units do I want in ending inventory? Let's see, it tells me ending inventory must be 300,000 units. So I'm going to take add that to my 300,000 units, add that to the beginning units, and now I've got total bottles I need. So total bottles I need to have of the one gallon units are going to be 1,860,000. Now if I now I need to know how many beginning finished goods inventory do I have. I need to calculate that because I don't have that information. But I know that I'm going to produce how many? 1,200,000. So if I need a total of 1,860,000 and I have to make 1,200,000, then subtracting the 1,200,000 I need to make from the total requirements will give me a total number of 660,000 one gallon buckets or one gallon units. So I can use the same table here, or what I can do is I can use this formula here, and I'm getting ready to type. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Budgeted production plus desired ending inventory is going to equal uh, my beginning in, my be, equal beginning inventory plus units produce units to produce and I can just use the same thing here and I'm just saying that my units to produce plus my or let's see budget unit sales oops let me rewrite that budgeted unit sales Minus, so my budget unit sales plus desired ending inventory is going to be equal, is going to give me my total requirements of 1,860,000. And so out of that requirements, I'm going to have units produced 1,200,000. Uh, and then I can just uh, solve for my beginning inventory. So I can put this in a linear equation also, and then what, and then plug in my numbers. And whatever number I'm solving for, whether it's unit sales or units produced or beginning inventory, I can just isolate the uh, variable I'm solving for on one side and then just go ahead and isolate that to one side and put all the number terms on the other side, just basic algebra, and then I can do it like that. So, but that's how I can do it also if I don't want to do this table here. So this is Leroy Meadows. I want to thank you for being with me for exercise 6-26.